Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Talwakar. Solve for real values of x in the following equation. The quantity x minus 1 over x raised to the power of 1 half plus the quantity 1 minus 1 over x raised to the power of 1 half is equal to x. I thank Rugved for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. We will solve this problem using some clever substitutions. Suppose the first term is equal to a and the second term is equal to b. The equation then becomes a plus b is equal to x. We will multiply both sides of this equation by the quantity a minus b. The left hand side of the equation will then simplify to be a difference of squares. a squared minus b squared is equal to x multiplied by the quantity a minus b. We will then simplify the difference of squares. a squared is equal to x minus 1 over x and b squared is equal to 1 minus 1 over x. Therefore, a squared minus b squared is equal to x minus 1. We will substitute that into the equation. We will then divide both sides of this equation by x. x minus 1 all over x is equal to a minus b. We will flip this equation around for convenience. We will then simplify the right hand side of this equation x minus 1 all over x is equal to 1 minus 1 over x. We will then add these two equations together. Notice that the b terms cancel out. So we have 2a is equal to x plus 1 minus 1 over x. We then simplify the right hand side of the equation. Notice that x minus 1 over x is equal to a squared. So we then have 2a is equal to a squared plus 1. We can easily solve this quadratic equation. We subtract 2a from both sides, and then we factor. We thus have the double root that a is equal to 1. We then recall that a is equal to the quantity x minus 1 over x raised to the power of 1 half. We can then solve this equation for x. We square both sides of the equation, and then we will multiply both sides of this equation by x. This simplifies to be the following quadratic equation. x squared minus 1 is equal to x. This is a standard equation that we can solve using Brahmagupta's quadratic formula. We get two roots. One is the golden ratio, 1 plus the square root of 5 all over 2, and the other is the negative reciprocal of the golden ratio. 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. We can see if either of these roots is a solution to the original equation. To do that, we go back to the original equation and evaluate each root. First, we'll consider the negative root. We can actually see this is not going to be a possible solution because the sum of two square roots will be equal to x. The sum of two square roots should be a non-negative number, and here x is a negative number. But we'll go ahead and substitute in, and we'll see that this is not a solution to the original equation. So we can eliminate this possibility. We are left with the other possibility of the golden ratio, and we can check this is in fact a solution to the original equation. Therefore, the solution to the original equation is the golden ratio. It's quite a divine answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.